scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever. You're right here. You feel, you know how this is like this water. You. you are trying to get it to come out. As soon as we are done praying, check yourself. You'll find out that a miracle has happened to you. In the name of Jesus, there is a woman. You're, you're not exactly a young lady. I'm seeing that, um, I don't know, it's not appendicitis, but there is a severe, looks like there's a mast just around your lower abdominal area. In the name of Jesus Christ, as I pray for you, I command that mast to disappear now. The Lord is showing me a family, your mother, mama is in the hospital right now as I am speaking. The power of God is touching her where she is. This is, this is a teaching hospital. In the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Now, for time's sake, whether I mention your case specifically or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, he's been exalted both as Lord and as Christ. I declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Now, we have just five minutes to do that. I want you to check yourself inside and outside. Many of you are already seeing miracles. Check yourself very quickly. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened, please ushers allow them. File up here quickly. Quickly. Check yourself. People are coming. Are you celebrating people? Check yourself. Make your way out. Make sure you confirm the miracle and then be on your way. Then we'll do the final impartation. Celebrate them as they come, please. You can use... Where do we use? Okay, people are coming. Celebrate them. Oh, 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 oh. He's able. Are you celebrating miracles? are happening everywhere. for a few minutes let's just honor some of these testimonies you can keep coming at, at least we will find a way of documenting them yes are you ready sir go ahead so, sorry, my name is Annie and I've had this breast lump you've had this breast lump yes for how long it's over six months now but by prayers in this altar it was discovered I wasn't cancerous but the lump has been there so it's been an issue of concern okay so each time I'm always touching it, it's always I'm always worried. Yes. Even if they say it's no longer cancer by prayers I had from this. What person. happened now? But by when the prayer was going on, I just checked and the lump had my God. Gone. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Yes, please. Very quickly. My name is Innocent Peter. Okay. I was having a pain in my waist and it's over two months now. Okay. So after the prayer, the pain completely gone. Left. Bend, bend down, bend down. Any pain? Any pain? Are you celebrating miracles here? In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare it's gone and gone forever. Yes, please. My name is Damilola. I yesterday night I noticed that I I wasn't feeling movement 
you, I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. Oh, yeah, I can see now. So, just as you asked us to, even till this morning, and you were not feeling movement, I was not feeling movement of the baby, yes, sir. And My just God. as you asked us to place her hands on any part, I, I said, I feel movement, strong movement. Yeah, you the universe. What can you do? right now the baby moved let her finish the testimony go ahead yes the baby moved. completely place your hand there how many months are you i'm eight months God. eight months yes, sir. in the name of jesus deliver like the hebrew women i stretch my hands no complication mother and baby are fine we release you right from this altar towards your safe delivery in the name of jesus are you ready sir go ahead my name is Kolade. Uh, i've been having this stomach ulcer for long now but the moment I placed my hand there, I discovered that it's there, yeah, it's gone. Completely? Yes, yes. How long been, has it been? It's up to 12 years now, before my mother died. Lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you. Never returns to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Abigail. I normally have my green headache and one side of my eyes always swell up every two three years one so, side come again my name is abigail and uh -huh. i normally have my green headache one side of my eyes i don't know pressure which of them it. which of okay i see uh-huh so when you were praying the pain come over but now i'm no more hearing the pain again in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it goes never to return again in jesus name yes please my name is Solan Rawaju. i've been having an um, issue of pile Even pile pile yeah so for a long time how long can you remember okay. for a long time okay so you mentioned my case and i be i believe i felt a relief and i believe in the I'll name of healed. jesus you go for a very formal checkup and you will find out that a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. My name is Emmanuel. Recently, I was diagnosed some one month ago with secondary hypertension. I've been having serious secondary chest pain. Secondary hypertension? Yes, ah. yes. I've been having very serious chest pain. I came to church. I was having... It was very severe. Really very severe. But um, as I started praying, I kept my hand on my chest. Now, I do not feel any pain. Completely. Even palpitations, I do not feel any one. The now. palpitations so, are gone. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare you go forth in joy you are led forth in peace nothing missing nothing broken in the name of Jesus Christ yes please my name is wisdom Isaac I was having severe head pain since two weeks but headache and right now yes now it's, it's gone, gone completely in the name of Jesus it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit yes please praise the Lord my name is Chia for three months now I've been having, I fainted and I went to the hospital, they said I should not be fasting again. Even I'm going to church, I'll test something. But today I decided not to test anything because I believe I'll be healed. Because the pace is severe, I can't breathe, I'll be feeling fainting. So as I was there, I was feeling the fainting. But when prayer was going on, the pain disappeared. That, that evil spirit manifesting as infirmity, I declare here at this conference, you are released from it now. Amen. Never to be a victim of it again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Hallelujah. My name is Christian Godwin. On Sunday, last week Sunday, after service, I received this attack on my health that I, I could not even barely walk enough after ministration. So I had to, in the evening, I had oh, to you're be the rushed. man, that pastor. Yes, sir. Okay. So I had to be rushed. My member had to rush me. I had to, had to just go to the hospital because it was so strange after ministration, after service, the grace. I want to have cancer and those that and what happened now so then i went to the hospital and since then i came to lagos and now i've been praying for god to fully restore back my strength and as she were praying the lord restored my strength in the name of jesus the bible says he restored my soul let your restoration be perfected in the name of jesus christ yes please yes sir 
my name is bright obeying yes, i'm a minister of the gospel oh, wow this pile has been disturbing with occurrence i can't count the years for the past three days i've not been able to ease myself well and when i go to the third i don't even want my wife to see because of the kind of blood that you come out but as oh, my God. when i was sitting down here i find it difficult because of the pain but right now completely You see, listen, when miracles happen like this, among the many things you must learn to discern miracles. Miracles don't just show that a man is powerful. There is a dimension to that, but miracles are a revelation of the love of Jesus. Miracles are also a revelation of the might and the power of Jesus. Are we together now? But then to really benefit from miracles, you have to discern the message every miracle has a letter written in it don't throw away the envelope because you are rejoicing over what is there there is still something in it miracles are a letter from jesus saying i am still lord saying i still love you and it plants faith in you and some of the things that happen in the bodies of men are if god can open up a blocked intestine or a blocked tube it means he can open up a door a business door you must discern and know how to prophetically discern and apply miracles to your life if a blind eye opens it means if god can open a human eye god can open a door yes, sir. are we together now sir we thank you and we honor you for coming out to share this testimony is it all right if i say a word of prayer for you i stand by the election of grace and i declare may your ministry shift to a new level from today Amen. i come by the privilege of the election of grace i pray that every dimension you desire even in this season may you begin to step in it and this pile that is cursed here on this ground it is cursed now and cursed forever in the name of jesus we have a few minutes we have to work with time yes Praise please the Lord. a lump in my left breast just left now my I'm god my god in the name of jesus christ it never returns to you Amen. by the power of the holy ghost Amen. yes please go ahead i think i think the lord last two years i have accidents on the leg my, my deli- you have come again. accident 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 yes oh my god and the bone got broken so since the bone time, which of them yes last week the uh, bone got broken got broken verified in the hospital yes sir and what happened now but now since that time i'm fleeing that pain yes they told me they have to remove the leg the leg is, is like i'm um, like they say oh they said i have to cut the leg yes from but thank god they called one rabbi to do something on the leg but since that time i'm fleeing in that pain inside the bone but now as you pray for me I love it. my friend walk walk accident broken bone may everything that has gone out of joint out of alignment in your life by reason of this miracle I speak to you in the name of Jesus may bone come to his bone may business come to his business may relationship come to his relationship in the name of Jesus Christ my friend God bless you in the name of Jesus healing perfection for you yes please praise God my name is Chris Akinyoshe so when you were speaking about um, pie and tummy so I receive pain and that pain moves out of me when you speak yes Thank you, it's Jesus. gone completely in the name of Jesus it never returns to you I want to hear the testimony is, is that a young lady let me hear her testimony not not well yes do and then the, the little one yes my name is miracle since last week i've been having can sore you imagine truth. what a name since last week i've been having sore truth i almost lost my voice and i didn't come for the kingdom you of had sore truth okay 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 i almost lost my voice and i didn't come for the kingdom conference because of that and what happened now it's gone already. say hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus christ it never returns to you uh-huh my name is up and favor I want to thank God because I've been healed from abdominal pain since when I was little till now. I've been feeling the pains, but today I've been healed completely. Oh my God, check yourself. Yes. No pain. 
it never returns to you again in the name of Jesus you will never forget this conference I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit you see this is why it is important to invite people to church it is more than just trying to promote a man's assignment you are giving people an opportunity to experience Jesus I was glad he said when they said unto me these are procedures that sometimes would cost thousands of naira dollars and yet in a moment in the twinkling of an eye by the power of the Holy Spirit let's take two more and then we'll have to wrap up for the sake of our time yes please go ahead um, my name is Deborah I am um, I was diagnosed of fiber two years ago uh -huh. and then um, usually I still have pain on my pelvic area and it, it causes um, pain monthly my monthly but as um, the prayer was going on I just sat down after the prayer because I felt um, well God has done the miracle I started um, trying to um, contrast my stomach, yes. stomach, stomach, and then press it. I can't feel that stiffness anymore. I can't feel. I can't feel it anymore. The power of God is a wonder to behold. A wonder to behold. In the name of Jesus Christ, this healing remains permanent. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. One more person from you and then we'll pray generally. My name is Jerome Eugene. I'm a footballer. When I was young, around 14 years old, I had an injury. But I didn't treat it very well. So it came out to be something very serious. So I went to the hospital. The doctor said I can't play football again. Because the leg used to swell up on its own. Okay. So on Which of them? Left or right? Right foot. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so at the time I was praying and God showed me like an encounter that the leg is okay. But out of faith I didn't believe. I still went to another hospital again. What happened the doctor now? said the same thing. Now I just felt that the pain is no more there. Check and yourself. And You're the a footballer. Leg, and, and the swollen up. I just... Go ahead. Check up. yourself. Do what you would do in the field. Any pain? Look at that. Hallelujah. Are you a serious footballer? You plan to go very far. Can I pray for you? It takes more than a ball and a skill. Stand up. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that when God lifts you, you will behave yourself wisely. You see, we're tired of praying for people that God will lift and then eventually they will act as if it's not God that lifted them. But we pray for you. We must be able to trust God for believers to be strategically positioned across every sphere of influence politics governance sports there must be people there who defend the interest of the Christ and we pray for you my friend more than a ball more than the money more than the fame more than the glamour may you truly be an ambassador and every grace and every provision every favor that must be made for your lifting may God here on this ground I pray that many years from now you will return back as a professional footballer and you will come and testify in the name of Jesus. You take that grace and do exploits for Jesus. Yes, please. Two more and then we're done. Are you getting blessed praise in this service? Lord. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God because God healed me in three ways. Um, because I was diagnosed with glaucoma. So this morning I couldn't really see well, but during the ministration I could see clearly. Hallelujah. Then um, I had um, multiple lumps on my breast. Multiple. Yes, yeah, so sir. Verified. Verified. So they're gone now. I can't Completely. Yeah. My God. Then I also had a tumor in my tummy, but I felt it melting. And now you yeah. see how demonic Satan can be. Glaucoma multiple lumps tumor that's the assignment of satan you know he has passed a life when you see these evidences but the bible says for this purpose was the son of man god made manifest that he may destroy my sister look at me this is the house of god this is what happens when we come to the house of god lay your hands there we pray for you as the church of the lord jesus christ universal i stand here and in the name of jesus we declare and we decree perfection wholeness from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet it never returns you will return back with joy and you will tell people you found jesus you found his power in church the lord bless you
the Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Let's take the last one and then I'll pray generally for them. Yes, please. My name, my name is Abengwe Uche. I'm a fashion designer. I had during my university days, I had an accident that brought about a shift in my hip joint. A shift? A shift in my hip joint. Okay. So it's always difficult for me to make clothes if I'm, in the, if I'm making my designs. I, if I sit, I, standing up is difficult. Yes. If I stand for long, I feel like I feel pain. So what I, happened now? Now I can stand. I don't believe I can stand up to this time. Sit down and stand up. Please just let, let him just sit there. Okay, stand up. Goodness. Sit down again. Stand up. Calvary Bible Church. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, not only will God make whole your hip bone, in the name of Jesus, that which you do, may you dress kings. In the name of Jesus, may you dress nobles. The level of competence and intelligence and relationships, connections, strategic alliances that needs to happen to your business here on this ground will shift you to a new season in your life. Now for the sake of time, all of you, I know that there are many more who have received, but I stand in agreement with the man of God over this assembly. And in the name of Jesus, we, we say thank you, Jesus, for these miracles. And we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that these miracles will never leave you. They stay with you forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Blessings to you. Please return to your seat quickly. Just one more function and we're done. Hallelujah. I just want to speak over your life in one minute. You don't have to stand. He shall reign. He shall reign. person who is left one more person who is left yet to run to Jesus I'm going to do the final prayer but perhaps you were here all through from Wednesday and even whilst the altar call was being made there were wars and contemplations happening in your heart and you're saying do I really make this decision perhaps you came for the second service and whilst you were standing you saw people running to Jesus and you were hoping that an opportunity like this would be given this will be the last moment for this conference and the Bible says whoever will come to him he said he will in no wise cast away no matter how it has been for you you do not want this conference to end with you just laughing dancing clapping for others and returning back this is an opportunity this will be my last session with us and it's my joy and honor to lead you to Jesus the lover of our souls the king of this kingdom wherever you are up the balcony scattered across the congregation outside following by way of the TV station or online I want to give you an opportunity to receive his life and give your life to Jesus and then for those of you who truly want to rededicate your life you're saying apostle this conference should not end with me living the way I'm living thinking the way I'm thinking I truly want to hand over everything to him whilst everyone is seated I want you to take that bold step jump up like a courageous person that you are and I want you to run just come and stand right here again like i did yesterday night i'll be counting one to five leave your seat with every sense of confidence come and stand one if you're coming please run west let's save time those who are outside if it's for the prayer please let them come two don't be ashamed come don't say we came in group don't say i'm ashamed of my wife my husband my parents my friends my business associates are you still coming three Calvary Bible Church can we honor them can we celebrate what Jesus is doing Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul.
God bless you. Now listen to me. Scripture says ye must be born again. If our hope is only in this life, as wonderful as this life can be, the Bible declares that we are of all men most miserable. Jesus Christ died. He shed his blood for our sin. And he wants to give us a new beginning. I salute every one of you standing. I believe that no man is able to come. Blessed is the man who God causes to approach him. And we are praying now. Lift your right hand. And I want you to believe that Jesus is standing here. And when it is time to pray, I'd like you to pray with conviction. Pray in truth. Pray with understanding. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe in you that you are the Son of God. This morning, I declare that Jesus is my Savior, is my Lord, and my King. I declare that I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I reign in life from today I go forward ever and backward never I am a child of God a citizen of the kingdom keep your hands lifted father again we thank you thank you for this ones thank you for saving to the uttermost even in this conference I commend them to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit may you be built may you be established in the name of Jesus I declare by the authority of Scripture that your sins are forgiven the Lord gives you a new beginning in the name of Jesus Christ you go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name I pray amen and amen very quickly where am okay now there's a gentleman waving his hands please all of you in concerts just move towards his direction there will be a few counselors hallelujah praise the name of the lord sir thank you i truly am honored i appreciate you and your dear wife and the entire leadership thank you calvary bible church for this honor the lord bless you the lord increase you in jesus name